Hello everyone. Now we shall move to Euler's torsion function, which is also called as phi function, which is represented as phi of n. See, generally, how to solve this problem? I am not going deep into this Euler's torsion function. In the next lecture, we will see how actually this Euler's torsion function is created and generated. Now we shall see how to solve if a number is given and what is the value or what is the answer for Euler's torsion function. Simply speaking, in three cases, we will see. If the number n is a prime number, then the answer is so simple, it is n minus 1. Okay, for example, phi of 7. Since 7 is a prime number, so the answer is 7 minus 1, which is equal to 6. Instead, if that n is not a prime number, if it is a composite number, but it is a product of two prime numbers, and those two prime numbers are unique, are different. In that case, phi of n can be written as p minus 1 into q minus 1. For example, if phi of 77, this 77 is a product of two prime numbers 11 and 7. Right? In this case, we can write it as 11 minus 1 where this p is 11 and q is 7. Remember, p is not equal to q. So, we can apply this rule 11 minus 1 into 7 minus 1 which is equal to 10 into 6 which is equal to 60. In general, for example, pi of 25, in this case, we just see, which is a product of two prime numbers only, 5 and 5, but if you say p equal to 5 and this q equal to 5, p must not be equal to q in order to use this formula. Okay? If this is given, how to solve it? So, if you want to solve, this is the generalized equation wherein if you apply this equation, whether p is a prime number or p is a composite number or p is not a product of two prime numbers, this one will give you the result. For example, we will see pi of 2000. I want to solve this pi of 2000. If you see, 2000 is a product of 500 into 4, 1000 into 2, you know, uh, 250 into 8. So, we have so many factors. But how to solve this? So, in this case, if you see, this is not, these two criteria are not matching. So, how to solve this? We will take the general one, where phi of n can be solved as phi of 2000, here n equal to 2000. Now, we will find out all the prime factors involved in this. Okay. So, if you see 2000, we will start with 2. 1000 times 2, 500 times 2, 250 times 2, 125 times and 5, 25 times 5, 5 times and 5, 1 time. Okay. Now the prime numbers involved are 2 and 5 only. So 2 to the power 4 and 5 to the power 3. We don't want the powers because we are concerned only about the prime numbers. So P1 is equal to 2 and P2 is equal to 5 and P2 is equal to 5. We will apply that in the general equation. So, phi of n which is equal to n into 1 minus 1 by P1 into 1 minus 1 by P2. Number n is equal to 2000, 2000 into 1 minus 1 by here P1 is 2, 1 minus 1 by here P2 is 5 which is equal to 2000 into 1 by 2 into 4 by 5. Okay. 2000 times and 5, 200 times, which is equal to 200 into 4, this 4, which is equal to 800. So, 5 of 2000 is equal to 800. We will see what does this 5 of n actually represent in the next video. Thank you for watching.